Hey y'all and welcome back to another video of I Umbra's Darkness. In today's video we got an update for you. First off, sorry for the no face cam. Uh, this is like my fifth or sixth recording. I had already put away the green screen. And the nerd herd and I were talking things through to make sure we brought... Well, I brought the most accurate data to you. We brought the most accurate data to you because it's a lot of the nerd herds through. And um, I already put the green screen away, so yeah. Uh, from AFK Group, I thought that AFK was going to be my next video, but there was an update at Turnover that wasn't really uh, forewarned. So, you know, got to gotta stay loyal to the most... Uh, the largest por portion of my support base. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get into it. Uh, there's a, three new things. Uh, one came out yesterday, and that is the lunar event uh, right here. So that's the lunar event. Awesome. Seven days. Free goodies. Who doesn't like it? Day six. Sweet. Colony at... Or, sorry. Uh... Then the ladybug adventure. Sweet. Every hour you get another ladybug, so make sure you're trying to stay on top of it. You can be AFK for 12 hours and still earn max rewards. Obviously, the most important thing to exchange for is creature remains, creature remains, and on every other occasion, creature remains. Uh, everything else is up to you wherever you want to spend lacking, but first max out your creature remains. Don't exchange for any resources. I would highly... Uh, not i'd highly advise against spores and orange eggs are like meh at best so uh i'd probably go for these experiences next and creature remains always creature remains first all right sweet now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this uh the flying in the wind with this we get to see what the new insect is like we're gonna go over that and we're going to see all of these points. All right, sweet. So let's calculate this together. Uh, first, let's talk about this. The at worst case scenario for doing this event should be 34 dandelions. 34 dandelions. The reason for that is you click this, this one right here. And you click this one right here. They're both new pieces of information. Uh... You mark down what those colors are, unless they're a match, right? You mark down what those colors are, and then you move on to the next one. You should always be marking down all of the colors on a sheet of paper or taking screenshots or whatever you want to do. Personally, I have an Excel folder op open because I do this on my computer, and I just fill the grid in with whatever color that is by just changing the background. So you mark down what color this is, mark down what color this is, then you open this one. If this one matches one of these two, you obviously match it. If it doesn't, you open this one. That way, each dandelion that you're using is generating new pieces of information. So, <laughs> with this, right, uh, in theory, if you open this one, open this one, op and just keep going, you'll eventually open it. The reason it is 34 is because eventually you're going to open this number two right here and you may inadvertently open a number two which is a previous known color in which case this spore is wasted and you have to go back for another one um so yeah again 34 spores worst case scenario why is this important well each match gives you one of match gives you a match point, right? So that's 10 match points on the board. If I go to the clear awards, it's another 70 match points. So each board is worth 80 match points, right? Which means of the, in order to get any of these big boys, right? Uh, you need 1,500 match points, 1,500 match points, right? And you need, you get 80 per board. So you need 18.75 boards cleared. And each board, worst case scenario, takes 34 spores. So 34 spores, 637.5 spores, or 
yeah, 637.5 spores is worst case, 638. We go over to the limited time packs. We scroll down, 160 spores. So 637.5 divided by 160 spores. $398.45. $400, let's call it, for either the insect or the special ant right and remember the special ant you need a copy to unlock it you need a copy for skill six so that's two so that's an 800 dollar ant then to one star it you need another one that's for another 400 that's 1200 dollars then according to the chinese moderators in the official discord uh which personally i trust more than i do the the english moderators they uh, said that skill one, five, and eight all require it. Um, and that photographic proof is somewhere in my Discord. I'm not searching for it. But if you want to know, if you want to see it to believe it, it's in my Discord in general chat. You're going to have to scroll up. It was discussed like four weeks ago when the server was first made. So, uh Again, so that would be mean that you need a total of five copies of this ant, so this ant becomes a $2,000 ant. I don't really think that's worth it. <laughs> now this insect, I have mixed feelings about. At initial look, it looks insane, it looks broken, it looks very, very good. Uh, so that's the money thing. Uh, sorry, real quick, before we talk about the insect and anything else. The last part of the money thing, it's $400 if you buy $200 worth of this and then the following day, because you can only buy two a day, the following day you spend another $200. If you look at like the $5 one, that's 12 dandelions, 12 dandelions. It's 120 dandelions for $50, right? So there are cheaper, better options out there, right? It's 120 dandelions times 10, so like $50. This is insane, actually. This one... This pack's very good, but it gives you nothing else, right? This gives you insects. So there are cheaper options than $400, right? This is assuming that you only want to buy this pack and you don't spend out the time. There's also, uh, in one of my previous videos, I redeemed already, but uh, there's three packs. It looks per day of six dandelions for 5,000 diamonds. So if you get this over time, I'm sure you can knock these insects down to... You know, three hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars. So it's just depends on where you want to go, or right, a uh, hundred and twenty dandelions, right? A uh, hundred and twenty dandelions here instead of a hundred and sixty dandelions for a hundred dollars, which is you know significantly cheaper. Yes, you don't get these other insects and stuff, but if you're just looking for the seven star. Maybe that's better for you. Or if you're just looking for the special ants, maybe that's better for you. So, better bunch of options. I just chose absolute worst case scenario for every situation. It, I'm sure it won't take you 34 spores to unlock every board option every single time. But absolute worst case scenario, 34 spores. All right, sweet. Moving on. Next. Um... The special ants that we've already talked about, where to spend these things. Uh, this special ant's pretty good. It's not like Wowzers, and again, you have to be committing $2,000 to it, right? In your brain, when you're about to buy this, you should think, I'm going to end up spending 2000 USD on this. Uh, if that's not you, then don't do it. This skin's $400. It only boosts Soldier Ant Defense plus 2%. It's not worth it. This is one of the worst skins that I've seen, but... It's an orange skin, and it's only $400, which an orange skin is usually $500. So if you want to get it, you do you, boo-boo. Uh, <laughs> this is not worth it. You're paying $400, right? Each one of these ants is 200 fragments to redeem one copy. You're paying $400 in order to get a Shikari Master, in order to get a Banshee Velvet, in order to get a E.T., it's not worth it. These ants are free-to-play ants. They're not $400 ants. Uh, for my free-to-play players, don't get resources. Don't get stamina. Don't get any of that stuff. Creature remains, creature remains, creature remains. On rare account, 
on rare occasion, creature remains. Right? That's 100 creature remains for 10, 10 things. And you, you can redeem it 100 times. So that means you can get 10,000 creature remains. Right? So this is this is your this is where my free to play players should be spending their spores at or their match points at. That's where I'll be spending mine. All right. Now, this is $2,000. If you want it, go for it. It's a great ant. This skin's not worth it. This skin is from Halloween last year. If you don't have it, or if you didn't complete it, or if you have 80 fragments and you end up spending a little bit in order to get to 750, this is a fine purchase. It's not great value, and you're spending $200 for one that gives you all soldier ants attack plus 2%. But, hey, it's something. This $400 insect. Let's talk about it. <sighs> First off, the reason that I was super hyped about it is because the ant is, this insect is pretty good. The, then I thought about it, <laughs> and we were talking about it in the nerd herd, and Arconis brought up a really good point that it locks you into Guardian, Guardian, Guardian. And things like the crab and atlas beetle don't lock you into that. So unless you're like a go ham guardian, this insect isn't for you, right? Um, and it locks you into it. You can't use shooters. You can't do anything like that. So the stat boost to be $400. But if I think about it, right, a seven star insect a seven star insect in order to guarantee get a seven star insect it's about you know 350 400 dollars if i buy the hundred dollar worst case pack right because it takes four or five stars right so it's like a 350 dollar to get to just get a seven star now i'm getting a seven star with boosted stats so like price wise it's slightly elevated not great and you're buying the worst case scenario packs all right great Guardian attack, guardian ant defense plus 60, these for and march speed plus 70%. The guardian insect, that is the white spider, is already plus 60, plus 60, and then plus 60 here. So it's 10% faster. Not great. But hey, it's something. Combat speed plus 120. Okay, combat speed plus 120. I like it. It's the same as. The other one. So the march speed's 10% faster. That's about it. So I guess if you were like super competitive in hunting fields at, at, or an AE and you wanted to be able to march super fast, it doesn't matter what troops you're leading. It's 10% faster. There's that. Great. <coughs> the insane thing is guardian ants receive their effect of being healed plus 20%. I don't know what this is saying. Right? Is this saying guardian ants receive the effect of being healed plus 20%? Is that saying whenever a guardian ant receives the effect of being healed, it gets plus 20%? So like when a special ant would heal a guardian ant, it gets plus 20%? Or is that saying like every round it's plus 20%? Right? Is this saying it needs to be paired with like a... Um, paired with like a, a white velvet or paired with something else that heals it, right? Or is it saying that it itself heals plus 20%, right? So I thought this move was insane. And then I kept reading it. Guardian ants receive the effect of being healed plus 20%. I just wonder if this is a mistranslation and it's saying... Whenever a guardian ant receives the effect of being healed, like from a special ant, it's plus 20% of that health. So then this ability doesn't matter unless you own a white velvet or something. It's interesting. And they chose to put white velvet out with this insect, nothing else. Guardian ant health plus 35%. Okay, it's plus 30 on the spider, so it's a little bit beefier. That's good. Guardian ants need the health. Uh, specials and skill attack plus 50 defense plus 70 invasion plus 40 each and damage plus 20 i don't quite remember the white so we're just gonna go look at it real quick 
Uh, plus 40, plus 60, okay, so a little bit beefier here, plus 40, plus 40, plus 20. So this one is ant attack plus 40 and defense plus 60, and if I remember correctly, this is plus 50 and plus 70. So a little bit beefier there. That's it, you guys. Not that significant. That being said, uh, we are at 2,500 subscribers, so we're going to do the code word of Guardian because this video is all about Guardian stuff at uh, for 2,500 subscribers. I do want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you guys. Uh, 2,500 subscribers is crazy to me. That's, you know, a, a humbling number. Um I will say that we're talking about stuff like this. We're talking about formations in Discord. So please, if you feel like you want to go check out Discord, please, please, please. My Discord is in the link below uh, or in the description below. Please hop on in. We're about to do a KE, right? Every other Sunday's KE. If you guys want to hop in, make sure your formations are the best that they can be before this KE, before the War of the, War of the Kings that's going to happen tomorrow. Hop on over. We have great people, smart people. They can help you with all sorts of troops, including guardians, including shooters, including carriers. So please, again, uh, I love the Discord. I think it's the best thing that I could have done uh, because it gets a bunch of like-minded people together. And when you get a bunch of like-minded people together, crazy things happen. Thank you, guys. As always, you can catch me in the YouTube comments. I'm pretty involved. Or you can catch me on Discord. I'm in there every day, all day. Or worst case scenario, as I always say, you can catch me on server 193. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters. I did get another Patreon uh, this month. I love it. I'm very thankful, you guys. Uh, thank you for it. As always, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.